necessary, I guess is the question, or is it not necessary? Maybe because it's your very first experience of working in this idea of process-driven rather than product-driven research. Maybe it's because it's your very first experience of really making research rather than making a, a choreography right away, a dance I would even call it, not kind of choreography, mm -hmm. that you felt insecure. But imagine that next year when you go back to Malaysia or in two years, I don't know when you will go back, you will be the first and you will be the person that will have to support others in this unknown space. Mm -hmm. And you will have to get the bull from the horns, as the expression says, and you will have to do it. Yeah? And that's very, very, very important. You can't rely because it, it happened by chance mm. that David was available, other people are not so available, uh, and it happened also by chance that David was interested in a one to one kind of. And if his work was only about solitary work, mm. it would be difficult. Mm. Yeah. So you need to build up some confidence. I totally agree with that. Uh, with David, but sometimes I feel that you're not confident enough in your own shoes. So you have to say, I can do this. Because I actually think, you know, the second week, it tells you that you can do it. You know what I mean? Because I get more comfortable in the space. Because actually, when the first night we arrived, I was totally horrified yeah. the space. That's why I, I feel very insecure. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's not only the space. I think it's also a, char a character issue of yours. But sometimes you take the second seat and not the driver's seat. And uh, you, know, you, you wait until the car has already started before you start driving. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but we really remember that next year this is not going to be the case. And especially when you go back to Malaysia, 100% from what I've been hearing from you, people will not have the same mindset of making work. So you will either end up going back into your habits, or you will have to take the leadership. And it's very important that you identify now it's okay that you did it because you need to find confidence and what it shows that this whole experiment I mean the big umbrella it works it's a really good way of making research that's what you said now you don't need David's support to help you with your confidence you can do it on your own I think that's what I would pick up yeah it's great he was there but you could have done it also on your own yeah. and also think now from next week till December, you're going to be on your own. Yeah. You're not going to have anyone. Will that mean that you will retract or will you really go for it and show everyone that this was the right decision for you? No, no, no. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yeah? You have to say, yes, I'll do my very best or I know yeah, what it is important for me. Yeah? A, one last thing we want to have for you is, I think I said, you're learning how to go from product-driven to process-driven processes. And you're also learning how to, you've learned, or you, you're very good with that, into welcoming feedback. You're, you're really welcome. But sometimes I sense that you're very slow in getting the feedback. And some other times you're hiding yourself behind the somehow that we spoke in the morning. Yeah. Somehow it's boring. Somehow, somehow. And I think it has to do with two things. That it's the language, yes. So sometimes you might not be able to understand me very well. Uh, and in that case, I think you need to ask. You need to be more proactive in speaking because that will also help me to understand what you are understanding and what you are not understanding. Yeah. It might be a cultural thing, and I really can see that with other Asian students I've had in the past, that they don't speak a lot, and I tend to speak a lot. Unlike David, who speaks a lot, and I don't have the last chance to speak a lot. Yeah. So for you, I would suggest more speaking, because then we will understand that we are both on the same train, or I've done 
I've gone 10 kilometers further than you when you were still behind. So I have the feeling that the feedback we gave you the very first weekend we came here, you just didn't get it. So you had to spend a whole week to understand what we meant by that feedback, which is not bad, but we could have taken it together. So I want you to speak more, I want you to give feedback more, I want you to participate in our conversations more. It's not a matter of respect. I don't feel I'm less respected if you speak up to me, because I know that sometimes you feel, oh, I just need to listen to what Pavlos is saying, and I, I don't think it's that. You know, I, I don't mind if you do it. Actually, I think it's going to help my work, and it's going to help your work, of course. Do you have any questions for us, any thoughts, any doubts? And how was this experience in comparison to all the other experiences? Did you use all the other experiences we had so far in the MFA? Something similar, something? You don't have to say something, but maybe you have. Yeah, in all the other MFAs, so from August till now, anything that you might have learned in the past and you used it now, or is that different? Is that If you have anything to share with us, that's fine. If not, it's not in if I have something for both of you, I'll say in the end, but not now, how different it is. Done. No. Great. Uh, I'll cut it so that we can start. Again.